Yeah, we got, a, a lot of we got a few ways trees can prove their worth, right? One acre of forest can absorb six tons of carbon dioxide. It puts out four tons of oxygen. Big time. That's a win. That's enough oxygen to meet the needs of 18 people for an entire year. And researchers at Texas A&M University found that just seeing trees for, let's say, five minutes, it drops your blood pressure, releases muscle tension, and allows you to... Yeah. Come back to the nature does moment. it to you. If you're ever not feeling good, just Go take a watch of na nature. It will help you. Right. Here is a biggie for all of you homeowners out there. Trees can actually increase your property value and decrease your energy costs. The Arbor Day Foundation CEO Dan Lamb joins us to explain. We love just when Dan's that. here. Live in person. What's up, Dan? Good to see you all. How are you? I'm great. It's great to be with you. All right. So planting trees obviously is big in your guys' industry. Um, they really do a lot for your property. We talked about the enhancement of maybe financially. Give us some of the other benefits, maybe climate-wise, heating, cooling, seasonality, all that. Well, especially on these hot, hot summer days, everybody knows that it feels a heck of a lot better to stand under the shade of a tree than out in the middle of the sun. Same thing goes with our homes. A strategically planted shade tree can reduce our energy bills by up to 20%, putting real money back in our pockets. You already mentioned trees are increasing our property values. Just There's a win-win-win for planting trees in our communities all the way around, especially in these hot, hot summer months. Okay, but then you get around to the winter and they lose their leaves and that helps you or doesn't help you? Well, that's a great question. So when you lose the leaves, the sun now can hit your home and warm it up through the solar, through the solar energy. But also in the winter months, if you strategically plant trees on the north side of your home, yeah. it'll block those cold, cold winter winds, oh. giving you even more savings for your energy conservation. Again, win, win, win for planting trees. So how do we balance the importance of, you know, heating and cooling, but also the importance of like, hey, I live out west. Fire danger is a real thing. You're supposed to keep that barrier too. Right. So planting the right tree in the right place at the right time is critical. Yeah. Whether it's for shading your home, blocking cold winter winds, or ensuring that your home, if you live out west, is not creating a fuel hazard. That's a really important thing. Planting the right tree, right place. That's what we're always preaching to folks, whether they're trying to just create more green space in their neighborhoods for the health and wellness mm -hmm. that it provides, mm -hmm. or whether it is because they want to have shade in their homes. You want to make sure you're thinking through why you're planting the trees and then planting them properly so you get the benefits you want for years to come. All right, so home prices are through the roof right now. I mean, it's really hard to buy a home. So mm -hmm. if you plant a tree, how can that help give value to your property versus another? There's been a lot of research done on the fact that people just like to live near near trees. Yeah. They, they, they will live on those those iconic boulevards with trees hanging over. Yeah. They just sell for more. That's what happens. And so people who are investing in their trees and caring for their trees as well. It's not just about planting. It's pruning. It's caring for their trees. It just shows more more uh, beauty, more care, and uh, more just iconic beauty in those neighborhoods. That's why people want to live there. And we're connected you know to nature. It yeah. it just, I was going to say, I think that's it. I think the whole we study are. we were talking about how, you know, if you go outside and look at a tree for five minutes, it calms you down. Looking at a home that is decorated right with trees, yes. it just makes you feel like, yeah, I want to live there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm living, it doesn't matter, wherever, can I contact someone, um, you know, locally to kind of get an idea of the right tree in the right area so I'm not just doing this guessing? Absolutely. You can go to the Arbor Day Foundation website at arborday.org to learn more about the right trees for where you live. But we always encourage people also to go to your local nurseries. Go find a local arborist, professional arborist, to give you advice on based on what you're looking for, what's the right tree to be planting in your community or in your yard. And what about if you rent? If oh, yeah. you, it's a great question also. So if you rent, talk to your landlords, talk to your neighbors about how you can advance tree planting in your community, yeah. in your neighborhood, because sometimes there's restrictions on that. But if you can help tell the compelling story about how much value those trees are bringing, I think you can twist somebody's arm. And trees are not cheap, by the way. No, They're they are. They are pricey. Yeah, um, can we get a little spiritual with you for a second? TikTok? Are we yes. doing TikTok? Okay. Wait, I don't know if spiritual and TikTok go together, but okay. okay. Kind of spiritual. It is. Go ahead. Go I mean, ahead. Explain okay. what it is. Well, you brought it to my attention, so you, you explain it. Okay, so there's a TikTok going around that you walk up to a tree and you say, tree, if you can hear me, touch my shoulder. And There are tons of people doing it. And it... It seems to be working. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it does or not. Have you ever? Okay, so we talked about the communication of trees, the interfungal network underneath. Yes. Wisdom that trees pass on to other wisdom. Is that, like, do you? Is, 
Is that a thing? Uh, I've seen the TikTok. Okay. I don't know if it's a thing. I'm not a scientist. It's really cool. Do you cool. talk to your trees? It's you... really cool. I take care of my trees. I baby them. Uh, I think it's just another, people want to be connected to trees. They yeah. want to be connected to nature. People just love trees. Yeah. It, as I've said before to you, it's the one thing we all agree on. And to see this TikTok explosion of yeah. people wanting to connect to trees, it's really cool. It's, it's exciting, really, right? It's really funny. People are loving on yeah. trees. It's great. And no, it's not about it's that. standing by a tree and talking to it makes you feel better. Sure. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, My dad exactly. to this day says when he had a plant in his house, he would talk to it and he said it would wave. <laughs> so, I See? mean, whether it's wind or not, hey, it's getting us in the conversation of planting yeah. more trees. It's fun. It's really fun. Dan Lamb, you're really fun. We always love <laughs> yes. when you come on. Good time. The Arbor Day Foundation, thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you.